Well, we're going to try it again. The weather hasn't been kind to the Braves over the last five days or so here in Atlanta. This will be the second doubleheader of the second half in game two of three against the Cincinnati Reds. The Braves dropped the series opener by a score of four to one and now have lost three straight and lost three of four since the All-Star break. And there is Adam Winans, second start of the year, eighth of his big league career. And as we mentioned, throwing the ball really, really well in the minor leagues coming into this one. Ground ball slowly hit out to the shortstop side of second base. Up with it, Zach Short from his possession at second, and he throws over to first base for the out. That brings up the Reds' hottest hitter, Ellie De La Cruz, rides a 10-game hit streak. Grounded right side with eyes and through, base hit. 11 straight games with a base knock for Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz one steal away from 50 on the year. De La Cruz goes, swing and foul, throw down is not in time. A major league leading 50th steal for Ellie De La Cruz. That's a nice round number. Two outs and Spencer Steer will come to the plate. Steer leads the team with 61 ribbies. Steer slaps to right. Duvall changes his angle and comes up short on the dive. De La Cruz scores. Steer up to second. Duvall throws in. Steer shooting for third. And a terrible relay by Zach Short. Steer stumbles, pops up. He races for home and he scores. Base hit and then a major gaffe on the horrendous throw from Zach Short. And that error opens the door to a second score. It is 2-0 Reds. It looked like Duvall was going to get that ball on his initial break. And once he made the dive, you knew it was going to be extra bases. But whatever Zach Short was doing on that throw, it didn't look like he had any kind of grip at all on the baseball. Inning continues here for the Reds. And now Jake Fraley will come to the plate. And a 1-2. Just miss. That looked like a really good pitch. Went with a, a sinker about letter high. And didn't get the call from Marvin Hudson. Fraley might have gotten the benefit on that call to stay alive 2-2. Two and two. Fraley ropes it to right. That's off the pole. That's a home run. The second of the season for Jake Fraley. The error opened the door and the Reds busted down. It's a four run first inning. He got lucky on a call and we use this phrase all the time but he's waiting for that mistake and he got the mistake and then he was able to keep it fair for the home run. That's a, that's a tough break for Alan Wines. For the Reds it's Frankie oh. Montas coming off a rough showing Friday in Washington. But Chris you got to imagine a four run lead before you ever tow the slab. It's pretty good cushion if you're Frankie Montas. Well it is but you don't want to rely on that if you're a starting pitcher. You want to get out there number one. I always say survive the first inning. Three one is low and there's a lead off walk. That's the very last thing that the Reds want to see after scoring four runs at the top of the inning. And now here is Nacho Alvarez still looking for his first big league hit. Three brothers his girlfriend his mom Maria dad Ignacio all in attendance here at Truist Park. That ball is up the middle. There it is. First big league hit for Nacho Alvarez. And then Benson misplays it, and that allows Kelnick to get to third base. Throw that baseball to the dugout, folks. Excitement for the entire family, but certainly for Nacho, which is 21 years old. Big thrill for Nacho and a big lift for the Braves to have something going in the first inning. That puts him in the corner for Marcelo Zuna. Swung on and a chopper out towards short. De La Cruz has it, tosses a second. They get one over to first. Ozuna beats it out and a run scores. Kelnick able to break for the plate on the fielder's choice RBI for Ozuna. And the Braves on the board. It's a 4-1 ball game. And he gets his 80th RBI with that good hustle to avoid the double play. Some real sloppy defense here in the first inning for the Cincinnati Reds who are just begging the Braves to get back into this game. And Duvall swings, tips it foul. Stevenson holds on to strike three. And Adam Duvall is out number two here in the first. Oh, struck go. him out. Challenge fastball. Despite the chaos, one run on one hit. Back to back K's in the inning. Short has proved to be a nice utility piece for Atlanta, playing all over the infield at third, second, and short. Out to right center. This ball is well struck by Zach Short, and it's going to plug the gap. Orlando is stopped at third, a stand up double for Short. And the bottom of the order setting up shot for the top of the order. Let's see if they can answer the call. 0-1 pitch, line drive up the middle to base it in the center field. Arzia scores. Here comes Short. It's a two RBI single for Jared Kelnick, and it's a one run ball game. Ellie has already come across. Single, stole a bag, able to score in that first inning. De La Cruz, high fly, deep right center, and gone. A 
lucky kid in the stands catches it on the fly. A solo home run here to lead off the third inning by Ellie De La Cruz hitting from the left side, and that makes it a five to three ball game. The team leading 18th homer thundered by Ellie De La Cruz. He is thunder and lightning in one man. Now Spencer Steer with two out or one out, nobody on. Oh, it's Steer hits one well, crank to left center. That's down to the wall. Extra bases again for Steer. And it's a double to his triple. Well, if he wasn't stretched out after the first at bat, he is now. So that'll be ball four. So Stevenson, after a long count, works the walk. His second, here's the one two, <laughs> swung on. That's a ground ball. That'll be fielded by Olson, the first baseman. No other play but step on the first base bag. The runners move up, two out in the inning. A big chance here for Noel V. Marte, who popped to short his first time. Swung on by Marte. That's going to get down and be a base hit and drive a couple in. Just to the right of the center fielder, here he comes pouring into second base, and he will get in there with a stand-up double. He didn't hit it all that well, but he hit it in a perfect spot right between the gap. Left field to center field. It was over there by Jared Kelnick and falls right in there. Big hit for Marte there. Not just for the Reds, but a big hit for that kid, especially with runners at second and third, being able to drive something positive. And the first two runners aboard here in the third inning. Keep it going. Keep the line moving. Come on, Eddie. 2-0 pitch and a high fly ball to deep left center field. Will Benson is over to his right, and deep in left center makes the catch. Tagging is Olsen, and he'll come in and score. RBI on the sack fly by Eddie Rosario. It's now a 7-4 ball game. The inning has gone single, single, sack fly, single, single. So tons of contact versus Montage, and the bases are loaded. The go-ahead run at the plate in Zach Short, who halted it 0 for 10 when he doubled and scored in the second. The pitch is swing and a miss. Blew a fastball upstairs right 95, right by the number nine hitter, Zach Short, and there are two out in the inning. Now the bat in the hands of Jared Koenig. Long run, Marte in foul ground. He's got it. Braves score one, but Montas leaves him loaded. And now the Reds have two on. And here's Spencer Steer coming up. Steer's already had a good day, a triple, an RBI triple at that, and then doubled and scored in the third. Steer lashes to left center. That's down base hit. De La Cruz scores. Windmill on for Candelario. He rounds third. He scores standing. Spencer Steer having a day. Man, three extra base hits and three RBIs. He is hotter than a match. Seven hole hitter got a base hit. And he's walked the eight hole hitter and the nine hole hitter, and he's loaded them up. The base is loaded here with one out, and that's going to be it for Frankie Montas as David Bell makes a walk to the mound. Mall has inherited 14 runners this year. He has stranded 13 of the 14. Only one has scored. Struck him out on three pitches. Well, he had a feeling when it got to 0-2, Sam Maw had pretty, had pretty well had Kelnick beat at that point. Well, what a spot here for young Nacho Alvarez. Loaded for Nacho. So that's fitting. Struck him out. Oh, oh, oh. Bases loaded, inherited. Bases loaded, stranded. Strikes out Kelnick and Alvarez, and the Braves lead them, leave them loaded for the second time today. Two gone in the eighth inning and brings up Will Benson. Here's the 0 1, and Benson hooks this one into right field. That'll get down for a base hit over toward the corner to cut it off as Duvall. He will spin and throw in very late and offline to second, and Benson's in there with a two out double. And it's in too tight, ball four, and he works the walk here. And the Reds have two on with two out in the eighth inning, and Ellie De La Cruz coming to the plate. Ground ball to third. Taken by Alvarez, throws across, makes the play. That's the first time that Nacho Alvarez has had a ball hit his way since being called up, and he passes the test. 9-4 Reds, bottom nine. Justin Wilson looks for the final three outs. Well, the Reds will pin. That's <laughs> look light out here this afternoon. Reds are one strike away from taking this series. Check swing, he went, no appeal needed. Tag applied, put out complete. The Reds take down the Braves in game one of the twin bill. They have secured their first series win in Atlanta in a half dozen years. And later tonight, they'll seek their first sweep in Atlanta in 15 years.